So this is um, trying out the, uh, actually we could see it, uh, little spikes here and the lines are actually showing up now. This is a NOAA 18 weather satellite that is uh, having a pass over Montreal right now. So one of the things I wanted to see if uh, I could actually receive that satellite using uh, the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery and the outdoor um, mobile vertical antenna. So this is the uh, satellite passing by. Uh, so it's actually receiving it well, as you see here. So uh, this is NOAA 18 weather satellite. What uh, this satellite does is send um, APT, or it's actually satellite images of uh, for weather purposes. And um, I need to uh, actually have a good signal and have all the uh, software installed to actually eventually decode pictures of this. Uh, this is really only being testing the reception capability with the antenna and this. Uh, AirSpy HF Plus works great. As you see here, this uh, signal is uh, really there. Uh, pass is pretty good pass today. It's um, at its peak. Um, I believe it's something like uh, um, almost overhead. It's like 80 some degrees, 82 degrees exactly. And uh, so it shows the capabilities of this SDR. And it shows that it's capable of receiving some uh, space signal really well. So, you know, I was saying that the performance of this SDR is really good. 
It's just that it's very limited on its range of reception above 30 megahertz. So uh, this is a signal from space, from a satellite just passing over Montreal uh, tonight. It's a NOAA 18 weather satellite. And this is the signal that it's transmitting. So if you're wondering why I'm moving the uh, the um, frequency um, or changing the frequency slightly is because there's what we call Doppler shift on satellites. So the frequency shifts downwards as the satellite is moving um, towards us and then away from us uh, because of its high speed. So you just have to kind of readjust. Now, um, most of the software, for example, I use tracking uh, software Orbitron, but a lot of tracking software and, um, and of course, SDRs have the capability of being linked in a way to actually automatically compensate for the Doppler shift. Uh, so this is uh, something that can be done. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. And, uh, well, this was the first satellite received on the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery using a outdoor wideband mobile antenna.